Like all other machines, the ship also has a lifespan. The lifespan of modern day ships is 25 to 30 years. But do you know what happens after that? What happens to the ship when it retires after completing its lifespan? Or how does a ship die? So after completing its lifespan, a ship is sent to ship scrap yards, where its parts are broken and sold as scrap, these scrap yards also known as ship graveyards. Ship breaking or ship demolition is a type of ship disposal, involving the breaking up of ships for either a source of parts, which can be sold for reuse, or for the extraction of raw materials, mainly scrap. Ship breaking allows the materials from the ship, especially steel, to be recycled and made into new products, this lowers the demand for mined iron ore and reduces energy use in the steel making process. India, Bangladesh, China and Pakistan have the highest market share and are global centers of ship breaking, with Chittagong Ship Breaking Yard in Bangladesh, along in India and Ghadani in Pakistan being the largest ship's graveyards in the world. The ship breaking yards of India, Bangladesh, China and Pakistan employ 2 lakh and 25,000 workers, as well as providing many indirect jobs, in Bangladesh. The recycled steel covers 20% of the country's needs, and in India it is almost 10%. The decommissioning process is entirely unsafe in most of the countries, especially in developing countries. The process starts with an auction, for which the highest bidder wins the contract. The ship breaker then acquires the vessel from the international broker, who deals in outdated ships. After completing the required document proceedings, ships are run ashore on gently sloping sand tidal beaches at high tide, so that they can be accessed for disassembly, then the process starts. It takes 50 laborers about 3 months, to break down a normal sized cargo vessel of about 40,000 tons. The decommissioning begins with the draining of fuel and firefighting liquid, which is sold to the trade. Any reusable items wiring, furniture and machinery are sent to local markets or the trade. Unwanted materials become inputs to their relevant waste streams. Sledgehammers and oxyacetylene gas torches are used to cut up the steel hull. Cranes are not typically used on the ship. Because of costs, pieces of the hull simply fall off and are dragged up on the beach, possibly aided with a winter bulldozer. These are then cut into smaller pieces away from the coast. Working at ship scrapping yards is very difficult, as well as very deadly, 70% of ships are simply run ashore in developing countries for disassembly, where asbestos, lead, polychlorinated biphenyls and heavy metals pose a danger for the workers, burns from explosions and fire, suffocation, mutilation from falling metal, cancer, and disease from toxins are regular occurrences in the industry, many are injured from explosions when flammable gas is not removed from fuel tanks. In Bangladesh, a local watchdog group claims that one worker dies a week, and one is injured per day on average.
Ship breaking has also become an issue of environmental concern. Many ship breaking yards in developing nations operate with lax or no environmental law, enabling large quantities of highly toxic materials to escape into the general environment and causing serious health problems among ship breakers, the local population, and wildlife.